Hey, welcome. This is Ken H364. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about a product today, Don't Buy. To me, it is a no buy, and it is the, um, it comes in a box, looks just like this. And it's called a Kraken. It is a Kraken, and it's made by SGS. I'm going to tell you a number of reasons why not to buy this. The 510 connection on this is extremely loose. The finish is not that good. The um, Most Krakens, you just pull this top section off. You just pull it off. This one here screws in. It actually screws on and screws off, which makes it annoying because you grab it, and if you happen to hook the tank, it'll leak on you. But the main reason, the main reason not to buy this is the build deck. Now, I want you to see, number one, they've got this goofy lip. I don't know why they did this, but they've got an actual lip. See, uh, right there. And it is annoying. It gets in the way of your build. Worse than that, if you look at where the screws are at, see where the screw is at here? Well, this hole on this side... This is your wick hole over here. Where the heck is it? Over here. This is your wick hole right there. Look at how close that is to the screw. Now I'm going to tell you what I had. I, I was building this. I was going going into building this, and you know how you normally wrap on a pin and you or your or your drill and you drop it in there and you hook your wire around your post and you tighten it down. What happened? What actually happened with this is I put the post in there with, the, with the, um, the coil on it. I want to tighten this screw right here. And guess what? It locked onto my drill, my 1-8 drill bit, and I had a heck of a time. I destroyed two coils trying to get the drill out of there because this, this screw is so close to this hole. Let's see if I can get this lined up here. Here it is. This screw is so close to this wick hole, you can't get you have you fight to get to get your your screw or your pin out of that hole. Here, there's a better picture of it right there. See how close everything is? Let me see if I can get it up to here. Where you where, hopefully there it is. There it focuses. That screw is right next to that hole. Now, if, had they shifted that hole five degrees? on a center axis around that center post, this would have been fine. I could even have lived with this goofy lip that they got on here. But I can't live with this lip either. Um, like I say, the, the, the glass goes, you know, it presses on like any other one. But here's, here's the goofy part with this. Now you got to get make sure the glass is all the way down. But when you put the crack and top on there, it screws down. And like I said, the 510 threads on here are, they're sloppy. On all of my, my, my mods, my mechanical mods, my two variable voltage mods, it just sat up there and wiggled. If you, if you can't get a good seat on it, it's just going to sit up there and rock back and forth. So this is the, uh, the Kraken. Um, they say it's stainless steel. I think it's just chrome plated because it doesn't look like stainless. It looks like it's chrome plated. But other than that, you know, other than, you know, you can make the most beautiful thing in the world, but if it doesn't work for you, what good is it? It's not any good whatsoever. Now, previous video I did on the uh, dual coil uh, RSST, and I've been vaping on this ever even you know since I did that video. I love this thing, and I couldn't really when I first did that video. I didn't show you how far this thing opens up, and what's right nice is it's just this ring right here, and you can take this and just turn the whole darn thing, and it opens up. 
But wait till you see how much ventilation you can get out of this. I don't recommend, I, I recommend getting as close to the top as you can. But look at the vent. Look at this. Look at the size of that air hole. And there's one on this side. And if you turn it around, there's one on that side. I mean, this, it's, it's almost like just breathing. You can open it up that much and then you can close it down if you want. So the, the, um, <clears throat> so as a follow up on the RSST dual coil, I would say yes, that's a definite winner. Uh, like I said before, you look at the, look at the finish on this. If you get it to focus, look at how nice that's finished. That's just got a beautiful finish on there. I can't say enough about the dual coil RSST. Um, and that comes from Smoke Tech. The uh, Kraken, a lot of you know I'm a big Kraken fan. Look at it. Look at the build. Now, this is my, my old Kraken from Trebeco. Look at the deck on that. See how the, how the screws? I mean, here's your wick hole down here and up on the top for your coils. See how much room you've got there? And there's no lip. You've got a ton of room. On this thing here, what do you got? Nothing. So I would say the RSS or the um, the Kraken by um, SGS. Don't even waste your money on it. Look at something else. I still suggest the uh, RSST dual coil or the single coil. I've been vaping on this since I bought the darn thing, and I love it. So this is Ken H364. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, get off of those analog cigarettes. Get into the digital generation here. Keep on vaping, people. Just keep on vaping. Oh, one more thing I meant to tell you. The city of Chicago now, their park commissioner, they passed a new regulation. They banned smoking in parks. They also banned vaping in public parks. So the Nazis in Chicago are pushing everything as far as they possibly can. I'm telling you right now, you'd better watch out because they're coming after the vapors. So um, if they they can't totally ban us, they're going to tax the hell out of us, So and you know it's coming. So be on the alert. Go to uh, casa.org. Just, just sign up. It's free. They've got plenty of information on there. When your legislatures and your local towns and communities start complaining about vaping, start sticking all of the studies right under their nose and say, what are you going to stop it for? You know, you might as well stop us from breathing the air. Once again, this is Ken H364. Get off the analogs, get into the digital generation, and remember, keep on vaping. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.